Oh, hello, great readers. I'm Bo Chan. I'm Nimikum. I'm Van Chan. In this class, I'll read all of you a part of Ulysses. Yes. L. Ulysses. James Joyce. Chapter 10, Sect 8. There's a hero. He said simply, I know. Macau said, The drain. You mean. Crane. Lenehan said. It was down a manhole. They passed in Lurie's wee social where Marie Kendall. Charming so bread. Smiled on them from a poster Dobby smile. Going down the path of Sycamore Street beside the Empire Musical and Hen showed me how the whole thing was. One of those men holes like a bloody gas pip, and there was the poor devil stuck. Down in it. Half choked with sewer gas. Down went Tom Rockford in a hell. Book his vest and all. With the rope round him. I'd be down, but he got the rope round the poor devil and the two. Were hauled up. The act of a hero. He said. At the dolphin, they halted to allow the ambulance squad to gallop past him for. Jervis Street. This way. He said. Walking to the right. I want to pop into Lineham's to see Skepta's starting price. What's the time by your gold watch and chain? Macau peered into Marcus Sturgis Moses somber office. Then at O'Neill's clock. At her three. He said. Who's riding her? Oh. Aden. Linehan said. And again, Philly, she is. While he waited in Temple Bar, Mikhail judged to Ben appeal with gentle pushes of his toe from the path to the gutter. Philly might damn easy get an SD for their coming along tight in the dark. The gates of the drive opened wide to give egress to the vice regal cavalcade. Even money. Lenehan said returning. I knocked against Bantan Lions and they're going to back a bloody horse someone gave. In that has an unearthly. Two here. They went up the steps and under Merchant's Arch. A dark back figure scanned books on the hawker's cart. There he is, Linehan said. Wonder what he's buying, Mikau said, glancing behind. They pulled over the bloom is on the ray. Linehan said. There's dead nuts on sales. Macau said. I was with him one day and he bought a book from an old one. In Liffey Street for two bob. There were fine plates in it worth double the money. The stars in the moon and comets with long tails. Astronomy, it was about. 
Linehan left. I'll tell you a damn good one about Comet's Tales. He said. Come over in the sun. They crossed the metal bridge and went along Wellington Key by the river wall. Master Patrick Aloysius Tignum came out of Mengen's. Late fern buns. Carrying a pound and a half of pork steaks. There was a long spread out at Glencree Reformatory. Linehan said eagerly. The annual dinner. You know. Boiled shirt affair. The Lord Mayor was there. Fildalin it was. And Sir Charles Cameron and John Dawson spoke and there was music. Bertel Darcy sang and Benjamin Dollard. I know. McCall broke in. My missus sang there once. Did she? Linehan said. A card and furnished apartments reappeared on the window set of number 7 Nichols Street. He checked his tail a moment but broke out in a wheezy laugh. But wait till I tell you. He said. Till a hand of Camden Street had the catering and yours truly was chief but washer. Bloom and the wife were there. Bashings of stuff we put up, port wine and sherry and curaco to which we. Did in bull justice. Fast and furious it was. After liquids came salads. Cold joints galore and mince pies. I know. Macau said. The year the missus was there. Lenehan linked his arm warmly. But wait till I tell you. He said. We had a midnight lunch too after all the jellification and when we sally forth. It was Bill Clark the morning after the night before. Coming home it was a gorgeous winter's night on the Featherbed Mountain. Bloom and Chris Conan were on one side of the car and I was with. The wife and the other. We started singing glees and duet slow. The early beam of morning. She was well primed with the good load of Dillahan's port into her billabend. Every jolt the bloody car gave I had her bumping up against me. How's delights? She has a fine pair. God bless her. Like that. To be continued.